In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a woven coaster that you can use in your home. The first thing that we're going to do is warp our loom. If you don't have one like this, you can make a really, really simple frame loom just out of a picture frame and nails. So I have a cotton warp thread here that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna tie it onto the bottom here. So I'm going to go up here and down. And we'll just do this until we have the width that we want for the coaster. So we just want to keep it reasonably tight. So that will just help us keep a really nice firm structure for our coaster. And then I will just cut my thread. I'll actually just wrap it around here a few times to keep it in place. I'm just going to tie a row of knots at the bottom with this white thread as well. And that will just make sure as we're patting down our weaving, we're not kind of pushing it down to the end. And it also means that we just get a nice straight line at the bottom. So a very simple knot we can do is just lifting up the thread, going underneath it, we come down, we go over and we come underneath again. And we want to try and get a really nice tight knot on this. And we're just going to do the same for all of the threads going across and we'll try and make sure that this knot is in the same place. I'm going to start with this pink yarn here. We want to have quite a nice long piece of the yarn here. We don't want to have it too long because it might get a bit tangled in itself. I'm going to use this long metal needle. So I'm just going to push the two strands of yarn through the eye of the needle. And now we can start weaving. I've decided that I want to do a kind of nice triangular shape in this pink going up like this. We're actually going to start not at the very edge, but just go in a few strands here. This means that we don't have any ends sticking out the side and it's much easier to tuck them in at the back when they start a little bit in from the edge. So I'm going to just come up here and we'll just leave a little bit of yarn out the back and we'll kind of tuck that in or tie that off in a knot um, at the end. And then we're just going to really simply go over and under every second of these warp threads. And then we can just pat this down with our fingers or we can also use a tapestry comb or just you know a regular comb to make sure that we're keeping it nice and tight. So now we're over on the left hand side. What I'm going to do is use my heddle bar to lift up the opposite threads. If you don't have a heddle bar, you can just weave your way up and down, going the opposite direction. Just take a little bit of time to line up the edges. Now, because I want to make a diagonal line here to create a triangular shape, I'm going to do three rows on each of these warp threads, but every three rows, I'm actually going to leave one out. So now I'm getting to the end of this first strand of yarn. So we don't have this sticking out the side. We'll actually just bring this just slightly into the middle and we want to push it out the back. And then we'll continue on with the same color and we'll just come up under here and then we'll tie these in a knot at the back. It will look completely continuous. So now we're finished and we're at the top of the triangle. We are just going to poke our needle just down from the point and we'll pull the yarn out the back. I'm going to take my purple yarn and then we are going to fill in the space that we didn't cover with the pink thread. We'll be doing three rows on each thread, but instead of losing a warp thread, we'll actually be adding one on. So we'll start down here and we'll just go around three times. So now I've made it all the way to the top and you can see that I've matched up the purple with the top of the pink. So with this end, I'm just going to tuck it in a few rows and I'm actually just going to poke it down under the top row here. So I've taken my cotton warp thread again and we will use the same knotting technique as the bottom and again, just making a knot on every single one of these warp threads here on the top. And then we'll push them down to make sure it's nice and secure. So now that we're finished, we're going to turn this over and tidy up the loose ends at the back. In most places, you'll find that there's two together, so you can actually just take these and put them in a really simple double knot and then just trim off the excess. We have a few loose ends here that don't have anything to kind of tie onto. So what we'll do is actually sew these back in to the underside of the coaster. I'm actually going to use just a slightly smaller needle to do this. Tuck the needle down under about two or three rows of the weaving. And we want to make sure that it just goes through the rows that are at the back. We want to make sure that we don't poke it all the way through to the front of the coaster. Then we can get our 
loose end here through the eye of the needle and then just pull it down carefully. So I can also do this with the white work thread that we used to tie our knots. We'll just tuck all that into the back. So now we have a coaster that looks like a complete coaster. We're just going to add one more technique to it called binding, where we are going to take this cotton cord, wrap it in this yellow yarn, and then we are going to add a nice circle onto the top of our coaster. So I'll just lay this down firstly to see how much we need. And we'll just give ourselves a little bit extra here. And now we'll take our yellow yarn and we'll just start about a centimeter from the top and we're going to wrap this around and we want to try and tuck in this end of the yellow. So we're going to wrap around that so we don't have the end sticking out. And then we can keep wrapping this around until we get to the end. I'm going to cut off some of this excess and I'm actually just going to overlap this last bit here and use my remaining thread to go around both ends. I'm just going to cut this loop here just so I can tie the last bit of thread here in a knot. And we'll just make sure that when we're sewing this down, we will put the knot at the bottom. And what we're going to do now is just sew it down onto the piece of weaving that we did underneath. So I'm going to take this slightly yellowish thread. We'll take a regular sewing needle. So we will just come up from underneath and we'll just go around this first loop a couple of times just to make it nice and secure. And then we'll start to do a loop maybe every centimeter until we are all the way around. So now we can just cut it off the loom and we have our final coaster finished. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please go and follow Domestica on social media. And if you want to learn more about tapestry weaving, please check out my online course on Domestica.